what is content strategy blueprint and how your brand should follow. An issue concerning all brands and digital marketing is how to create contextual content and promote such content successfully. Inbound marketing principles point out that value addition is the greatest wow factor in any sort of content. Content that educates or gives some sort of valuable information is what anyone is searching for in any field. Creating content the right way. How would one create content that customers like? There is no shortcut to it as studying the personality of prospective buyers is the key to choosing what works for your customer and what doesn't. This leads to persona study, an indispensable aspect of digital content marketing, where the buyer goes through several phases of education about the brand. Spotting the underlying pain point of a customer is possible only if the marketer communicates with a prospective customer. The piece of content has to articulate the pain points of the prospect to generate basic interest about the brand. Generating this interest is the job of unique, valuable and inspiring content. Buyer's Journey Stages A value-driven content helps the marketer guide a buyer through the following stages of his her buyer's journey. 1. No Need Stage Here, the buyer doesn't know his her pain point. This can be the first interaction between a brand and a potential user influencer where a piece of content by the brand is found by the user. The user finds value in the content and relates to his or her situation. To help the user find that relevance, the marketer starts with a discussion about problems. In this stage, the brand doesn't target a user specifically and thus the information disseminated through the content is also general to have broader relevance. Here, originality and honesty in the content scores the highest. Blogs and videos are the best for this stage. Two. Awareness stage. Here, the user acknowledges that there are some issues and wants to know more to correctly identify the pain. The brand marketer thus keeps educating the prospect about various pain area. Here too, blogs and videos work out the best. Content in the awareness stage has an honest, practical, empathetic and informative tone. The user should find enough value to move over to the consideration stage. 3. Consideration research stage. An inspired user now wants to solve his pain point and seek solution. Here, the user recognizes the brand's expertise due to the value he got from the brand's content in the previous stage. The user needs expert advice and insight about solving this pain and how the brand can help them in this process. Deep dive knowledge is the need here. So, podcasts, webinars and amas, ask me anything. Videos talk about the industry at length to give a better understanding. The curious buyer gets detailed insights about the tools, appliances, software and devices that do the job. Content tonality should be serious and information heavy to motivate the buyer to move on to the last stage. 4. Decision Shortlist Stage Here, the user is aware of the solutions in the market and wants to shortlist the best of them to decide which brand to approach for the best result. Product Service Offering Price and feature comparisons are the deal makers or deal breakers here. Product reviews, client testimonials, case studies, live demonstrations are the best types of content to suit this stage. 5. Trial evaluation stage. After all the research, the user converts into a buyer and decides to approach a particular brand to buy and test its products for evaluation. Tutorials, service demo trial, guides and how-to videos are useful here. Now let us understand what is a content marketing pyramid. Coming in next episode. Get in touch with us today. If you are not sure your agency is following this and want to know your specific content score. If you are interested in working with us. If you are into any business and want to avoid investing in wrong digital content agencies. Thank you. Get in touch with us.